Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Urban, with another uh, manga chapter review. This is going to be a new one, and uh, I'm this is going to be on Love is Still Too Early for Himeichi-chan. And Himeichi-chan, uh, I'm going to guess, is the boy. They don't really haven't revealed that in the first chapter, but uh, they have revealed almost the full name of the girl, so I think Himeichi-chan is the boy. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'll correct it later. So this manga itself is a very similar to another one that I'm reviewing, which is uh, Meguro-san wa Hajimete Janai, but I will talk about the differences. Uh, but before I do that, uh, one, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, hit that uh, subscribe button. And if you want to know when I go live or upload videos like this one, uh, hit that bell button as well. And then lastly, if you guys haven't checked out uh, my other videos, my other manga reviews, you guys can do that. Uh, and oh, I, actually, there's one more thing. There is a spoiler alert on this uh series so uh the series follows uh as, as of right now it's it's very short chapter i think about 10 pages uh and it followed basically arikawa san uh, a girl who passes a note one day to oiji kun uh which i think he is the main character or the guy in, in the name of the of the story uh oiji kun is basically surprised to get this letter saying meet me in the back at the end of class. So he quickly remembers how how big of a brute Arikawa-san is. She is always demanding stuff. She's always saying the boys are in trouble. Boys, be straight in line. Boys, get yourself together. So, you know, she he kind of has this kind of like, she's bossy, she's mean. So he thinks, if she's calling me out, is she going to beat me up? So when he meets her after school, he has his whole like backpack and and uh, I think a trash can or something like that to protect himself. And Arikawa says, what the heck are you doing? So in her mind, she's thinking, you know, I really want to tell him. And she says... You're an idiot. Why? Why can't you figure it out? Why you're here? So she pushes him. Uh, there's two thoughts. One, Uichikun thinks, man, that was the least of my worries. I thought she was gonna beat me up. She only pushed me. Ayukawa, on the other hand, says in her mind, she's thinking, "Wow, I finally touched him." Uh, so <laughs> this kind of be like kind of like a love story between a girl who's bossy and a guy who's basically clueless of what's going on. So uh, pretty pretty nice story so far. There's only two chapters out, so I will review this one today and then the next one uh, the next day. So make sure you guys check out that out. Now, what's the difference between this one and the other one that I'm reviewing uh, of Meguro-san? Uh, basically, Meguro-san has like a darker, darker side to it. Uh, this one is more like a lovey-dovey, uh, Tagi-san, essentially, uh, manga. It's very wholesome to its core, and there's no dark side to it, at least not yet. I don't think there will be. Where Meguro-san's manga has a darker side where she has been with other boys. She has, you know, kind of like a... a I wouldn't say naughty, but she has been bad in her life. So, anyways, uh, as of right now, I'm going to put this one at a 6 out of 10 as well. Just because uh, the series itself, very similar to what we've seen already in um, in Miguro-san, in uh, Kagai-san. So, there's a lot of... Uh, manga anime that's very similar it's kind of like lovey-dovey wholesome uh that i've been reading so uh if there is something unique about it i will raise the rating if not i'll probably leave it at six so uh guys if you're checking this out let me know if you're reading it leave me a comment in the comment section below and give me your opinion on the first chapter thank you so much guys for watching the videos uh and also if you haven't done so subscribe to my channel i appreciate it so much thank you for all the love and support and like always don't be strangers